सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक वी आर हैविंग वॉट इज अ फोर्स सो एज द चैप्टर नेम सुजेस्ट फोर्स सो वी शुड नो फर्स्ट वॉट इज अ फोर्स सो वॉट इज अ फोर्स हेयर वी आर हैविंग डेफिनेशन अ पुश और पुल टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट विच चेंज और टेंस टू चेंज द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट मीन्स वेन एवर वी आर पुशिंग और वी आर पुलिंग टू एनी ऑब्जेक्ट दैट पुश और पुल टू एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इज नथिंग बट वी आर अप्लाइंग अ फोर्स एंड ड्यू टू दैट पुश और ड्यू टू दैट पुल वेन द ऑब्जेक्ट चेंजेस इट्स मोशन और चेंजेस इट डायरेक्शन दैट इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ फोर्स सो पुश और पुल मीन्स वॉट पुश मीन्स वेन एवर वी आर लाइक अप्लाइंग फोर्स एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम यू वेन ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम यू दैट इज अ पुश एंड वॉट डू मीन बाई पुल पुल मीन्स वेन एवर यू आर अप्लाइंग फोर्स एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इज कमिंग टू वर्ड्स यू दैट इज अ पुल ओके दिस इज अ पुश एंड पुल सो सी विद एग्जाम्पल सो हेयर वी आर हैविंग हेयर वी आर अप्लाइंग फोर्स टू द बॉल एंड बॉल इज मूविंग इट्स और चेंजिंग इट्स मोशन सो नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग लाइक दिस हेयर वी आर पुशिंग द बॉल एंड हेयर वी आर पुलिंग द कार्ट हेयर इज अ पुशिंग हेयर इज अ पुलिंग ओके सो पुश और पुल टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट विच चेंज और टेंस टू चेंज द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड फोर्स सो नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ फोर्स एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट फोर्स इज अ पुश और पुल टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट वी विल सी द एग्जाम्पल्स वेयर फोर्स एक्ट एज अ पुश एंड इन विच एग्जाम्पल्स फोर्स एक्ट एज अ पुल सो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल वी आर हैविंग टू एंटर इन साइड अ रूम वी ओपन द डोर बाय पुशिंग इट वेन यू वॉन्ट टू एंटर इन साइड द रूम वी ऑलवेज पुश द डोर इन ऑर्डर टू मूव इन साइड द डोर सो दैट दिस इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फोर्स एज अ पुश so next we are having examples of force as a push second example if car is not starting by its own engine so we have to push the car means this man is pushing the car in order to move it forward or here you can see this boy is pushing the cart in order to move the cart so this is a example where force is acting as a push okay next example we are having force as a push in a game of carrom when we are playing carrom board in that we are always pushing the striker here a man is applying force or pushing the striker in order to move the striker or coins okay so here this push is nothing but a force applied by a person next we are having examples of force as a pull in some cases we are pushing something in some cases we are pulling something in order to show our force so first example we are having as force as a pull so here we are having to come out from room we close the door by pulling it when you come out from the room we have to close the door so how you will close the door by pulling it pulling it means by taking the door towards yourself so that pulling is nothing but a force applied on a door and door closes by our force so next example we are having a rickshaw puller pulls his rickshaw so rickshaw puller is also pulling his rickshaw means he is applying his force in order to move the rickshaw next we are having effects of force so as we know force is a push or pull to an object which change or tends to change the motion direction means due to applying force many effects have seen in the object so which effects we are going to see in the object that effects one by one we are going to study so first effect we are having a force may start motion in an object which is at rest for example this ball is firstly at rest okay when the boy is applying the force on this ball the ball move the ball start moving or the ball changes from the state of rest to state of motion so by the force we can start a motion in any object which is at rest second effect of force we are having a force may change the speed if we are applying the force on the paddles of this bicycle so the force can change the speed of the cycle if you apply less force less speed will be there when you apply more and more force on the paddles then cycle will be uh, speed of the cycle will be more or a force can change direction also for example ball is coming towards this batman and when this batman hits the ball means applied the force the ball changes its direction okay so by the force we can change speed also by the force we by applying the force we can change direction of any motion of an object third effect of force we are having a force may bring moving object in rest if you want to 
this moving object should be at rest then what you will do we will catch the ball so how we will catch the ball when ball is coming toward this boy this ball is in motion but when this ball come toward this glove so he will catch the ball so in order to catch the ball he is going to apply some force so a moving object can come into the rest by applying the force next we are having a force may deform an object so by applying force we can deform an object also deform means to change shape and size of an object so by applying force we are just changing the shape or size of an object next topic we are having resultant force so what do you mean by resultant force for example this is very heavy material and this alone person cannot move this almira okay so in order to move this almira we want one more person so that both can like apply the force and this almira then will move okay so what is this this is known as resultant force when two or more forces when two or more forces acting simultaneously simultaneously means on a same time at an object then net force then total force exerted by both these persons is nothing but a resultant force resultant force means the total force act by the persons or any bodies on any object on one object that is a resultant force so resultant force can be from two types like two persons we are having and one almira one very heavy almira we are having this person alone cannot move the almira so we called one more person so that he can also uh, do some he can also apply some force and this almira can move so two cases are there one they both can just apply the force from same direction he is also applying force from this direction he is also applying from this direction so here their total force is going to add up for example he is applying 5 newton force and he is applying 4 newton force then total resultant force will be 5 newton plus 4 newton that is 9 newton force why we are using here addition sign because both object or both bodies are applying force from the same direction but if we are having the reverse reverse means now the both bodies are applying the force from different direction here this person is applying 5 newton and this person is applying 4 newton so what will be the resultant force so here resultant force will be 5 newton minus 4 newton this person is applying 5 newton this person is applying 4 newton so when objects are applying forces from different direction from opposite direction then resultant force should be subtracted and if they are from the same direction then resultant force should be like addition okay addition should be there in the resultant force now where the object will move as you can see this is applying 5 newton this is applying 4 newton in the same direction in this direction only so obviously almira will also move in this direction only but what about this two persons when they are acting for when they are applying force from different directions for example this is applying 5 newton force this is applying 4, four newton force so as you can see he is applying more force on this almira if he is applying more force then from this side almira will move from move to this side okay wherever greater force will be applied to opposite side the almira or any object will move because 4 newton cannot having that much force so that he can move the almira to that side 5 newton force is more so obviously almira will move in that side okay next we are having types of forces so first type of force we are having contact force as the name suggests contact force contact force acts when two objects are in actual physical contact with each other for example if so when you want to move this dumbbell up so we have to apply some kind of force okay so how you will apply force by just actually watching that dumbbell can you apply the force and can you make it move up no we have to hold it by our hand and then only we can move it up so this the actual physical contact between your hand and between this dumbbell is nothing but a contact force means only sitting and watching to dumbbell that yes we can take it up no it cannot be possible we have to get up and we have to take it in your hand and we can we have to exercise okay so this force is nothing but a contact force when two objects are in actual physical actual physical contact like muscular force in muscular force the object should be in the contact with each other then only muscular force will apply like he is applying his muscular force okay like frictional force also i will told tell you about the frictional force also in the next slide so frictional force is also a contact force next we are having non contact force non contact force means 
द फोर्स एक्ट बिटवीन टू ऑब्जेक्ट वेन दे आर नॉट इन फिजिकल कॉन्टेक्ट विद ईच अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर आई एम हैविंग मैगनेट एंड हेयर आई एम हैविंग आयरन नेल्स ओके सो कैन आई टे इफ आई वॉन्ट दिस आयरन नेल शुड बी अट्रैक्टेड टू वॉट दिस मैगनेट सो वॉट आई हैव टू डू आई विल टेक द आयरन नेल एंड देन आई विल स्टिक इट टू इट नो आई विल जस्ट मेक द आयरन नेल वेरी नियर टू द मैगनेट एंड मैगनेट इट सेल्फ विल अट्रैक्ट द आयरन नेल टू वॉट इट सेल्फ सो वॉट इज दिस दिस इज नॉट अ एक्चुअल कॉन्टैक्ट हेयर काइंड ऑफ सम काइंड ऑफ नॉट अ फिजिकल कॉन्टैक्ट इज देयर हेयर मैगनेटिक फील्ड इज जनरेटेड ड्यू टू दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आयरन अट्रैक्टेड टू वॉट दिस मैगनेट okay we need not to take the iron nail and we need not to stick it to the magnet means it can move like this without physical contact also so magnetic effect gravitational force also means if you want to throw this ball down we have to take the ball and then we will put it on the ground no we will just throw from upside only it will automatically go down side so this gravitational force okay gravitational force magnetic force these all are the examples of non contact forces